This is Naina Curley from WAMDA Media. I'm here with Issan Jawad, the, uh, a partner at Honeybee Ventures and a founder of Zawiya and also a founder of Le Moon. Issan, how are you? Very good, thanks. Excellent. Um, so let's just chat a bit in this panel that you were just on. You discussed your, your attitudes about failure and sort of talked about some of the challenges at Zawiya after the economic crisis. What's your perspective on that? You know, there was there was a lot of uh, talk about celebrating failure and so on. And uh, I mean, my, my sort of my my line on that is, you know, I reflect a lot on failures. I don't celebrate it. I reflect a lot on it. Uh, I I embrace it. Uh, I don't obviously set off to fail, but uh, I'm trying very hard not to be afraid of failure. I mean, that's that's the ultimate problem. If you are afraid of failure, then you don't do anything. You basically stand still. Uh, but the, the, the fact of the matter is uh, that people are, um, you know, no one wants to fail, actually. Um, I think uh, celebrating failure, uh, in my opinion, is you know, to say, oh, I celebrated my failure, it's, it's a little bit de de delusional as well. So, um, but basically, dusting yourself and uh, standing up again, it's, it's, it's the right thing to do. It's painful, you know, uh, uh, failure is painful, and that's why people are scared of it, you, you know. Uh, there's nothing to... There's, there's, there's n nothing more to it. And uh, also, when it comes to um, building new products in the region, as you're doing now with Honeybee Ventures, building Le Moon, um, and Round Table, Round Menu, Round Menu. Um, when you're building these new products, you know, so you were saying that um, the opportunity in the region is often hyper-local, as opposed to immediately going for a global product. How do you build a product that is approaches the market at the right time. It's not too far ahead of the market with its innovation, and it's not too far behind. I mean, look. I mean, everybody knows that the internet is a global marketplace. Uh, you know, you could uh, you could be anywhere and everywhere, and you could be basically cornering the market. Uh, but you do need the know-how. You need the um, um, you know you need the ability, both from a, a you know a skills, capital, technology. Um, um, to, to take on a global thing and you know I, I have my doubts whether a global uh, I mean you might call me pessimistic but I have my doubt whether a global concept will, t will emerge from the Middle East for many reasons but of course I never say never that's not a good idea um, so the, uh, to be realistic and uh, to increase or reduce our chances of failure which we're all scared of apparently uh, you know, we chose a strategy whereby, you know, you're either going to, in, in this space, you're either going to be really big and take on everyone and become number one player, or you're actually, you stick with a specific niche and, and, and do a, you have an, a local edge. And that's why I'm talking about a hyper local. If you have a local edge, whether it be business development, uh, marketing, um, you know, you understand the local culture like nobody else, like the gentleman who's sitting here, the Kharabish guys. So these guys, obviously, they they are tuned themselves with the, they are in tune with the local culture so much that they tre they resonate. You can't get someone like that doing this from London or, or New York or anywhere else. So here is a hyper local play, and uh, guess what? If they've succeeded. They're not going to have a global audience for it, for sure. Uh, but what's wrong with what they have? They you know they have they just talked about having hundred employees and. Uh, and it's a profitable business and, uh, you know, it's good for them. When it comes to hyperlocal, I mean, clearly Zawiya is somewhat of a success story. You know, I think of it as having um, successfully uh, leveraged a, um, how to put it, like a subscription-based uh, monetization model where you're selling hyperlocal intelligence. How did you guys work to iterate to get to the level where you knew what mix of advertising, subscriptions, you know, selling reports? How did you uh, get to the level where you knew what mix was appropriate? You know, th that's a bit of a, uh, uh, so th there was some experimentation there. And, uh, you know, you, sometimes you push the boundary and then the customers push you back. So when we tried to serve a little bit more advertising, uh, the customers will push you back and say, you know, hold on a second, you're charging us. A, a lot of money for for this content so take it easy and we would uh, respond and it, you have to be sensitive to that until we achieve the, the, the right balance I mean we 
I think we ended up with something like 70-30, which is probably right for a, a, any any uh, sort of respectable media should command the, you know, mo it should be mostly content, solid content, and there should be, you know, uh, not more than yeah, 25 to 30 percent in advertising. I see. And so what's next for you guys uh, at Honeybee? What are you looking to launch? Uh, well, obviously, we, we've, uh, we launched Le Moon last year. Uh, we launched uh, Round Menu uh, this year. Uh, Le Moon is, having, uh, uh, is going through a second iteration, and it's, uh, it's an example of, I think we talked about it earlier, I don't know if it was through this interview or not, of, of probably over-innovating for, for the market. But having said that, we, uh, we have something really cool going on. I mean, the users... Um, love what we were doing, and um, and I, I think we're we're about to dare I say the word we're about to pivot in there and uh, and focus entirely on the user space. Uh, when we started Le Moon, the concept was to help the recruiters uh, match better and help recruiters uh, basically re recruit faster or recruit more efficiently. Uh, the pivot that we're, we're undergoing now is basically moving totally to the user and making the user the, uh, the king, basically, serving the user first and foremost. And uh, you know what? We've been doing this, and, and we've been, we're getting rewarded. Our users love us, and uh, I think we've just figured out a revenue model, an unconventional revenue model, which I, I hope to be sharing with you uh, in the not-too-distant future, which, will fit, which is going to fit our platform. So um, I was very inspired with uh, Fadi Randur's comments this morning about declaring a war for jobs. Uh, I think the, 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 um, the concept of jobs and career is an important concept for a lot of people. Most of our lives, we, uh, for a good part of our lives, we, we worry about uh, careers and development of career. And I think uh, Le Moon is going to play a very important uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, so become a player, a big player, I hope, in that space. Again, in the local market. Very cool. You have to keep us posted. Thanks for chatting with Wamda. Thank you.